Hello everyone, welcome back to the course. In this video, we are going to talk about console methods in JavaScript. So, there are various methods for a console object that is basically used mainly in the purpose of debugging the code. So, there are various methods, various ways where we can debug and where we can get the information into the browser console. We will be using mostly console.log and console.error along with the console.table in our Lightning Web Component course. But all the methods which are listed over here are very important. Console.debug, console.group and group int, console.time, time int and time log. So these are the very important methods and I am also going to talk to you when to use which method. So let's quickly see how we can use all these methods. So the very first method that is console.log we have already talked about. There are various more methods than we have listed into the PPT. If you wanted to learn all methods, you can just go ahead and type console and you will see these are all the methods that you can have. We are not going to talk about all the methods, but we will talk about console.log is the one. We'll say that console.log and what, what I'm saying that I'm in log. Okay, what you have here is you will see an information which is just putting a log. It is saying that okay, whatever you are consoling, this can be an object, this can be a variable, this can be an array, this can be a list, it can be of anything that you can have. Similarly, console.log and console.debug both are kind of same. Both does the same thing, there is no difference. That is why most of the times we are using console.log. So, whenever you wanted to print some information, you can just go ahead and use console.log or console.debug. Suppose that there is some error that you wanted to print, so how you will use that? This time, instead of use uh, debug or log, you will use console.error so that you can see that error in a uh, we'll say that uh, in the red color and you will say in the form of an error so that is the use of console.error console.table is again like very useful whenever suppose that you have got an, an array right so let's say that we have got an array of uh, users over here let's say whatever we have got and this is an array with two parameters one is amit singh let's say that we have got uh, Various objects like, um, yeah, we've got four objects. We'll say that user list. Okay, now we wanted to console this, so we'll see few things like console.log. Okay, I'm sorry, uh, we'll say console.log and we'll say, okay, say that uh, user list. And there is a one common mistake that usually developers do make they try to put a plus sign and put enter. So, what you will see. You will see user list and then object object four times whatever the entry of your array is you're not able to see the information and you will never able to see okay so to do that what you will do is you just need to replace plus with a comma sign and hit enter and this time you will be able to see whatever all your users are the proper information this is the one thing that you are able to see over here now if you wanted to see okay say that you have got console.table so instead of okay console.table you got this okay what you need to do is you just need to remove this hit enter so as soon as you use console.table you will be able to see the result in the form of table you can see these are the indexes indices this is there is one property called first name there is one property called last name so when you have a list of records you wanted to display in the form of table or you wanted to debug those you can use console.table over here and you are able to see it easily okay so that is how you are able to do this now there is one thing that we have talked about is basically a console.group okay so how console.group works so in the debug log sometimes you wanted to have the groupings grouping means some collapsible like that so let's quickly have that first so that console.log okay we'll say that group starts here so what I did is basically I have used a few console over here. I say that console.log group starts here. 
then we say that okay group is going to start we'll say that console.group it takes one parameter we say that this is the group okay then we say that console.log inside group we say console.group end now group is going to start from here end is going to end here the name should be same whatever the label that you have given if you hit enter you see here you have got some collapsible things like group starts here this is the group whatever the name that you have given and this is saying that inside group you can have multiple group inside a group now <coughs> now where you can use all this suppose that you have got a user right over there and then you can have say that you have got user list dot for each then what it has basically it is having a function right we have already talked about function and we're not going to use all those we'll say that item and here we are using console.log so we'll say that console.log and say here and say that item dot first name and we'll say console.log item dot last name if you see here it is saying that amit singh amit singh amit singh all kind of things right so this is one thing that we have and now we wanted to group these information how we wanted to group like say that we wanted to group with the name and all other information like a is their uh, either it is admin their email kind of things you can display under that so to do that first thing what we will do is basically we will modify our user object okay it is amit singh it is going to be ankit and it is going to be zon and it is going to be freddy we've got this you have if you wanted to have like some sort of information where you have is say that let's quickly add one more here so we'll say that is and we have got this user list right now we need to have that for each loop so we'll just go ahead and use for each this time what we will do is we'll just go ahead we'll say that console dot group what will be the label the label will be first name and then inside that group we'll have first name we'll have last name we'll also have the a's as well and then we'll end that console group hit enter so now you can see here right how it is saying is um for amit these are the information for ankit these are the information for john these are the information for freddy these are the information so this is here right you are able to see and you can also collapse this easily one thing that you need to know about this console.group is this grouping should be unique if you provide a duplicate then again it is going to uh, I haven't tried this, but it will not work because that is what the group means. You have to be a unique value for grouping. Okay, so this is about the console group. There is one thing which is talking about console time. Okay, so console time is also a very important concept. Whenever you are trying to figure out which processing has taken how much time, so there are some scenarios where you need to. Uh, kind of improve the performance of your lightning web component Then you need to figure out which scenario is taking much time which particular call is taking much time So for that what you will see uh, do is we'll say that console.log first thing we'll say that time is timer starts here and then what we will do is basically we will have a Processing over here before processing. We'll say that console.time and we'll have for each Okay, this is again going to take one label and then it is going to have say that console dot time log so that we can have that okay so we'll say whatever the time log is for each and then we are going to say that console the time end okay so that we can end the time and we can find how much time it has taken okay or what we can have is you can also have multiple timers after that you can also have some sort of uh, say that okay you have got one more timer over here so say that timer one starts here and then you can have uh, timer one so i have prepared this right we have got console.log for the timer one and then we've got timer two we hit enter so now you see here right this for each is here timer starts here okay then we have got all our groupings then it is saying that for for each it has taken this is the log that we have okay and this is the uh, end so this is basically taking 0.91 milliseconds okay to complete that for each then it says that timer one starts here then these are the logs and then it is saying that it is taking 0.21 milliseconds so this is basically how we can get the timer information of a particular process by putting time start uh, sorry console dot time time log and time end and this will be very useful we are not using this in our uh, basically uh, lightning web component course 
but this is again very helpful for your uh, real time development where you will be working on the real time project so uh, this is it for this video thank you for your time and uh, into the coming videos we'll talk about what are the difference between set timeout and uh, set interval thank you